Hi students, this is my first video for 8th class students. In this videos, I am going to explain different state syllabus, Andhra, Telangana like that. And also NCERT syllabus, I am going to cover. Here, today I am going to give introduction for rational numbers. Before rational numbers, little bit we will study one second about natural numbers, whole numbers and also integers. What are natural numbers? Naturally, for counting purpose, what are the numbers we are using? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those numbers we are using for counting purpose are said to be natural numbers. Okay. So natural number set, it is denoted by capital N. They are starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. Is there any ending number? No ending number. But beginning number is 1. What is the difference between two successive numbers? 1 means 1 first number. If you add 1, you will get second number 2. If you add 1 for 2, you will get third number. Like that, if you add one number for any natural number, you will get next number in that series. Okay? Now, if you include one extra digit, that is 0, then we will get whole number set. Means, for natural number set, if we join extra number 0, that set is said to be whole number set. Whole number set it is denoted by capital W. Here numbers starting from 0. Next same natural numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. Here also there is no ending number. But beginning number is 0. Here also difference between any two successive numbers is 1 only. It means in this set. If they have given any one number. Suppose 10,000. What is the next number in the whole number set means? 10,000 plus 1. That is 10,001. That is Next number, okay? Like that. Now, here negative numbers are not there. For whole number set, if you join negative numbers also, you will get different set that is integer set. Integers are denoted by capital I or in some books, capital Z. And how to denote this? First, you put some dots. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, like that, 0. Same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Means here, 0, right side, past two numbers, left side, negative numbers. So, this set is said to be integers. Here, next, after integers, we have to learn about rational numbers. Okay? See, what are rational numbers? The numbers which are expressed in the form of P by Q. Okay? Where P and Q are integers. But condition, Q not equal to 0. Why we are telling Q not equal to 0 in P by Q form? If you take Q value 0, then P by Q it is not defined. Okay? But you can take P value 0. 0 by anything is 0 only. Okay? 0 is also rational number. This rational number set it is denoted by Q. So see once again, the numbers which are expressed in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers, and Q not equal to 0 are said to be rational numbers. These rational numbers are denoted by Q. Suppose some numbers are not possible to write in the form of P by Q. Then what are those numbers? They are said to be irrational numbers. Means those are not rational numbers. They are said to be irrational numbers and denoted by Q dash. Rational numbers and irrational numbers. If we join both Q union Q dash, that is said to be R. R means real numbers. So rational numbers and irrational numbers combinedly said to be real numbers. Now we will discuss only about rational numbers. See, students, natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So, all natural numbers are whole numbers. All natural numbers are whole numbers. Next, what you are telling? All whole numbers are integers. Okay? Integers, some extra numbers are there, negative numbers also. So, all whole numbers are integers. Next, you have to know all integers are rational numbers. All integers are also rational numbers. But rational numbers, what we are telling? Rational numbers means P by Q form. Okay? Fractions. All fractions are rational numbers. Okay? P by Q form numbers are rational numbers. Okay? It means uh, these integers, how we can say they are rational numbers? See, suppose 0 is there. 0, you can write as 0 by 5. 
zero by ten. Whatever it may be, zero by eleven, zero by anything is zero only. Say this is in p by q form. Now suppose one is there. Five by five, it is also one. Ten by ten, it is also one. Hundred by hundred, it is also one. It means this is in p by q form. So all integers are able to write in p by q form. So they are said to be rational numbers. And here I am representing integers on number line. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four positive numbers, minus one, minus two, minus three, like that. These are negative integers. These are positive integers. Continuously going. If you observe here, suppose you take this number and also this number. Compare these two. Right side number is always greater than less left side number. If you compare one and four, four is greater than one. It means right side number is greater than left side number. You take minus three and one more minus six. Here also right side minus three. It is greater than minus six. So right side number is greater than left side number in integers. Similarly, if we represent a rational numbers on number line, there also you choose any two rational numbers. The right side rational number is greater than left side rational number. Okay, you remember that one. Right side number is always greater than left side number on number line. And one more thing. Here, if we represent rational numbers on number line, for any two rational numbers, you take any two rational numbers, we can include number of rational numbers in between those two rational numbers. It means here, between two and three, there is no integer, only two and three. But in between two and three, these are rational numbers also. You can include lakhs of rational numbers. Okay, there is uh, no count for that. Say we are studying about rational numbers. Uh, some are proper fractions, some are improper fractions, and also some mixed fractions. In that, all proper fractions are say between zero and one only. See, I will give some examples. One by ten, this is proper fraction. Three by eight, it is also proper fraction. One by hundred, it is also proper fraction. 101, 101 by 1000 I am writing. Small number by big number. If numerator is less than the denominator, they are said to be proper fractions. All these proper fractions are lying between 0 and 1 only. See, how many proper fractions are there in that, like that? See, 1 by 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5, like that. Suppose 1 by, I am writing here 1000, like that. 2 by 5, 2 by 7, 2 by 100. So, infinitely numbers we can include between 0 and 1. Remember that point. So, between any two rational numbers, we can include so many rational numbers. Now, we will go for other points. Students, rational numbers are represented in two ways. One is decimal form, another one is fractional form. So, what is this decimal form? See, sometimes... Uh, 1 by 2 means what we are writing it is 0 0.5. Okay. This point is said to be decimal point. So decimal form it means 0 0.5. Now suppose 1 by 5. What is 1 by 5? 0 0.2 it is. Okay. Divide by 1 by 5. 1 with 5. It is not possible to divide. So what we will do? 0 point. You put your point and take 0. 5 to a 10. Like that we are doing, 0 0.2. So 0 0.2, 1.5, 3.76, 0 0.035, all these are rational numbers. These rational numbers are representing in decimal form here. Okay? And also, we can represent in fractional form. 0 0.5, how we are representing 0 0.5? It is 1 by 2. Okay? Now 0 0.2 means it is 1 by 5. We can represent like this also. 0 0.2 we can write as 2 by 10. 0 0.2 means 2 by 10. 1.5 it is written by like this. 15 by 10. This one 3.76. It is equal to 376 by 100. Okay. So this is decimal form. And this is fractional form. Okay. In fractional form also again two types. Terminating and non-terminating. Some terminating. Some non-terminating. 
so what about terminating and non terminating later we will discuss in problems see students you can understand by doing one problem okay here they had given some numbers now we have to arrange these numbers in appropriate order means what are natural numbers in this what are whole numbers okay next integers like that rational numbers you can understand easily this topic see what are natural numbers in this you know natural numbers means 1 2 3 4 so on like that see such numbers here here one is there and in this group here 22 is there so 1 and 22 these two are natural numbers only two numbers are there now what are whole numbers here all natural numbers are whole numbers but extra zero is there it means 1 and 22 also come into this category and is there zero we have to search here yes zero is there so whole numbers in this list 0 1 22 okay so natural numbers will come in this whole numbers list also now what are integers all whole numbers are integers and negative numbers are also there okay see what are negative numbers here minus 2 write down minus 2 minus 33 by 7 it is rational number don't write that it is in p by q form now here minus 5 finish 0 1 22 only this much so integers Minus two, minus five, zero, one, and twenty-two. Now, what are rational numbers in this list? See, the numbers which are able to write in p by q form are rational numbers. All natural numbers are whole numbers. All whole numbers are integers. Total whole numbers are rational numbers. So, all these numbers will come into rational numbers list. And extra numbers, p by q form numbers. See, one by two, it is also come here. One by two, and uh, including these numbers. So zero point five is there, okay? And four one by two, it means four to the eight plus one nine by two it is. So it is also p by q form minus thirty three by seven. So negative rational number this is four by seven. It is also in p by q form, okay? Zero point three four, it means zero point three 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 three. Just now I told you. terminating and non terminating decimals are there this is non terminating repeating decimal so it is also rational number 0.34 and here 2 by 11 2 by it is 19 okay 2 by 19 and this is in decimal form it is also rational number in decimal form 0.125 and this also you include here minus 2 minus 5 0 1 22 it means whatever the numbers we had given in this all numbers are rational numbers okay numbers which are not able to write in p by q form only irrational numbers okay here all are rational numbers say natural number n whole numbers w okay integers i or z and set of rational numbers we can represent as q q means what x is as that x equal to p by q so numbers which are able to write in p by q form x by x x is such that x equal to p by q where p and q are integers p q belongs to z means z is integers okay p and q both are integers and condition is what q not equal to 0 i told you already denominator q not equal to 0 if you take q value 0 p by q it is not defined so never take q value zero okay right today interaction part completed in the next second video i am going to explain properties of rational numbers closure property commutative property associative property okay we will explain in the second video if you like my videos please share comment and subscribe my channel thank you